How's it going everyone? I want to do a quick recap for you all for the trades I took today, kind of give you the reasoning, the why behind the trades. But as always, before we get started, be sure to subscribe to my channel, click that thumbs up button and click that bell icon so you do not miss on any upcoming videos. Let's get right into this. I'm going to start this off with a losing trade, okay? It's a very small red trade, but I want to talk about it for a second. I feel like this is probably going to help you more than the big winning trade we're going to talk about. I was watching an hourly trend line. Let's just zoom out here to the hourly so we can see what's going on. So I think we all can agree there's an hourly trend line here, right? You can clearly see it. Wicks touching, lining up perfectly. So I was looking for a bounce there. And that was my ideal during my pre-market Instagram live. I go live every single morning on Instagram. Now this trade didn't work out, but let's take a look at it a little closer here. So we came down, touched this level. I didn't trade this using QQQ calls. I was trading in this using MNQ. You can trade NQ futures or MNQ futures, whichever you prefer. One reason I like trading that better it has better tax advantages. And honestly, I don't like trading QQQ options. I don't do it often. So we came down, touched it. I went long MNQ. We come up. I got a nice trim off, right? In profits, a nice trim. Then immediately just turned around, went straight down. I mishandled this trade a little bit. If I could go back, I would have stopped out at my entry price, locked in them profits off the first trim. But instead, I followed my original game plan. And when we had a candle close below this trend, I got out. Ended up a little bit red on that trade, but that's okay. You know, that's part of the trading game. There's one thing I can promise you, you will have losing trades. That's just part of trading. You got to learn to be okay with them. You did, Sometimes you don't even do anything wrong. It's just part of it. The best thing you can do is become the best loser possible, okay? Follow your game plan, stop out where you need to. Don't let them losers run. Do not let them knock out profits that you worked hard for all week, okay? Especially on a Friday. And I'm kind of curious why I, you know, it doesn't always make sense. We did not respect it hardly any here, but we come back up. You know, we're respecting this trend line very well here. It's obvious, right? Kind of curious why, you know, I wasn't watching this. Was it orders left behind? What was going on there? But anyways, from now on, I will stop out at my entry on, you know, after my first trim. That's my bad. If you was in this trade with me, you know, I do apologize. But this next trade was huge. Let's take a look at this. Right here is where we went long, okay? Now, when I'm trading SPX, I trade ES longs. You can trade SPY calls or you can trade SPX calls. I was in the SPX calls here and ES long. We got in right when the bid was right at that level. Had a little bit of an early entry on our first ad. I like to take a second ad. We push on down and the ask approach is my level. We got both ads. So I was full size on this trade. My last ad was literally right here. We got in. We caught this beautiful move up. This was called out in live voice. My exact trade ideal. How I managed it. Now check this out. We had a huge trade. Very nice trade. I made money off ES futures and SPX options. I told everyone. I was going to stop out if we broke below that previous five minute candle. This red candle here is the one I was referring to. Look how much we got stopped out by before we continued on. But we stopped out in profits. Beautiful trade overall. Honestly, I don't know how to put it in better words. It was a huge week for us all at Team Bull that traded with me. We had one losing trade and it was the one I talked about before this one. Just an insane week. Feeling really blessed. Again, if you're looking for like free education and stuff, I told you all at the beginning of this year, one of my main goals was to provide free education. And I've been doing it. I've been going live every single morning on Instagram. I start around 8 a.m. Eastern time, give or take. Go to about 8.45 a.m. Eastern time. Create a free watch list. Get a game plan together. All that good stuff. J Dunn and GD join me. Just a really great environment and all kinds of free education. So be sure you tune in for that. And that's it. I hope you all have an amazing weekend. I appreciate you all for watching and I'll see you next time.